If you Google uh, America's Worst Mom, I'm there for 68 Google pages. Hey, it's Kennedy for Reason TV at Bleecker Street Park here in New York City with Lenore Skenazy. Now, Lenore, you've uh, become famous for writing columns now, not only in the New York Post, you also had a book that came out in 2009, Free Range Kids. Free Range Kids is the book, the blog, the movement. Yep. And it is a movement. It when I talk worries, to people yeah. about that, they're really inspired at the thought of, really, I can stop worrying and be a better parent? Um, I don't know if you'll be a better parent, but you don't have to worry to be a good parent. Yeah. And Parenting nowadays is filled with worry. It is all about right. restriction right. and regulation yes. and hysteria. When did you first realize this? Um, you know, I realized it before I became the free-range mom. I remember a friend telling me that she had been at the um, at Walmart or someplace like that and waiting in line, and the lady in line behind her asked her if she would watch the baby. And my friend Melissa said yes, and then she told me, wasn't that crazy? I mean, I could have just stolen her baby. Nobody should ever leave a child unattended. So she felt that the woman behind her was crazy to trust her. Yeah. And that's when I started thinking, really, are we not supposed to trust our children with anybody at any time? And that, in fact, is the mantra. Now you'll find parents being arrested for letting their kids play in the park. Really, I get these calls all the time. Letting their kids play in the front yard. The cops come, CPS comes, and they say, why are these children unattended? And they write up the parents for negligence. Sometimes the parents have to go to court. So do you think when we grew up, we were obviously less restricted? I mean, our moms would say, okay, go out and play, right. be back by dinner. Why don't people do that anymore? People don't do that anymore because when my parents were raising me, they could not reel off the names Elizabeth Smart and J.C. Dugard and Amber from the Amber Alerts because the stories hadn't become sensationalized, local news was still local, and so because the media loves those stories because they get the biggest ratings, those are the ones that inhabit our brains and we start being afraid. Once we're afraid, then everything tumbles from there, then you start getting you know, neighbors who are afraid because you think your kid is safe in the front yard, but they see your kid playing and they think, that mother doesn't care, doesn't she realize? I, I had a woman write to my site who said that she was on the lawn with her kids, but she was reading a book and a lady came by and said, put down that book. Don't you realize your children could be snatched at any minute? Okay, that's the kind of neighbor that then calls the cops or CPS. So if you're living in a society like that where everybody is turning into the KGB in terms of your parenting, it's very hard to trust yourself, trust your kids, and trust your community, but I'm saying we have to. Do you get a lot of backlash? Do people say you're a bad parent because of free-range kids, because of this, you know, yeah. really traditional style of parenting? I feel like I am a really traditional parent. Um, and yes, I mean, if you if you Google uh, America's Worst Mom, I'm there for 68 Google pages. Uh, so yes, I've gotten some backlash because people really believe the worst case scenario. There's something I call worst first thinking, which is coming up with the worst possible thing that could possibly happen and proceeding as if it's likely to happen. You have to admit that there is a little risk in everything. and. And there has never been a safer time for children on this planet than now. And that's not just me who says that. That's Steven Pinker at Harvard says we are in the safest times ever in the history of the world. My daughter's pediatrician had really good advice. She said, a good adult will never ask you for help. They'll never ask you to find a puppy. They'll yeah, never ask really. you to look for something or go off with them. That's excellent advice. It's going off. That's the problem. Never get in a car. Never go off. It's so simple. And also, it makes a lot more sense to kids because... When you tell kids don't talk to strangers and then you go into your store and you say, I'd like a coffee, hey, you? Who yeah. you do, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're talking to a stranger and then if you're a polite, nice person, you say, excuse me, when you bump into somebody, maybe you ask for directions. So, yes, you can talk to strangers. It's as simple as that. Lenore Skenazy, go to freerangekids.com, read everything she's got, come out enlightened and liberated. For Reason TV, I'm Kennedy. Thank you, Lenore. Oh, thanks so much, Kennedy. Let's go play.